What is Shauna doing? She just keeps kneeling down and uh, doing things like this. <laughs> I wonder the game ever explained what she's she doing. Hi everybody, this is Milky. Welcome back to another Pumpkin Days. Well, today we're gonna try to explore more of the Pumpkin Days that we haven't done before. Maybe some new areas or just explore the winter fishing. Well, let's get started today. Wow, the first thing I found out that I really really want to share with you guys is if you receive a lot of quests like what I did and then have to get a lot of relationship punishment because of the new updates, I actually found out a great thing that I wish I've known earlier. It's if you cancel it before 24 hours, for example, for let's say, uh, let me see something that I definitely know I probably won't be able to finish this spaghetti and meatball because I know I won't be able to finish if I was able to cancel it before 24 hour we actually don't get relationship punishment I was so silly last time trying to finish all the quests I got so as long as you feel like you can't finish it and just cancel it like around two days you will be totally fine and there's no relationship punishment oh i'm so happy to find that out because i still have so many quests left that i'm not sure whether i could finish them or not and another thing that i want to show you guys is this new journal tab i love it um it shows what uh, what do we know donated and what's left i think we donate decent amount of ores and decent amount of fishes oh look at this big jellyfish one I'm so happy and hopefully one day we will be able to donate all of the items to the museum. Also, I just noticed that we can actually wear so many things. Well, today I want to try something adventurous. I heard that uh, we usually always go to the left side of the diamond fall, but I heard on the right side of the diamond fall around the lucky pine forest, there will be open mines that we can always get for diamonds. So I want to try it out. Also, I just never explored this area a lot, especially the Rosa Bark Circle. I don't, I don't believe I've been there. So I just want to explore this special area and see if there's anything we can find. Wow, there we go. I was able to find it. So let me just uh, move my map here. It's around the left side of the diamond fall. If you just follow the road all the way through the lucky pine forest, you'll be able to find this uh, some of the mines just out open in the wild. And because they're right next to the diamond fall, I'm hoping that there will be diamonds or just some special gems. Okay, the first one is something we can just find from the normal mine, unfortunately. And then on Tanza Night, I think this might be the first time I pick up that one. Amber, and then let's see what else. Aquarium. Oh no, I thought there will be diamonds out open, but it seems like it's just some open mine around here and it's not necessarily diamonds. But it's pretty interesting how there's some some mines just opened up here and uh, i was so happy that i finally able to find it also i've never found the swamp so maybe that's my next goal let's to go check out where where is the swamp well welcome back to another milky cooking section well today i finally able to make some butter from the butter charm so i'm thinking if you have a lot of tunips like me maybe we can use the tunip to make some some nice little creamy tunip soup this is the first time I do it, so hopefully it will work. Oh, there we go. We got it. How much is it? 45 gold. Let's see. Hopefully it's more than the normal tunic soup. Um, oh, fortunately, just from the cookbook, we can't see how much is it. But that's the first time I make it, so it's pretty cool. And I found out if we have a butter, we can make some a lot more complicated stuff if I have enough uh, food with me like corn on the butter or things like that so i really want to be able to make super expensive dishes and use them to make money well i'm finally ready to get a process shed i'm so happy and i have enough wood plank so let's start building it oh my god my farm is filled with building now wasn't it amazing so i i guess i would still want it around my house or something like that so it's close um how about this place? I think this looks good. It's close to everything and uh, I just have to move all the things in it. That's so cool. Well, let's go back and check it out. Speaking of that, what is Shauna doing? She just keeps kneeling down and uh, doing things like this. <laughs> I wonder the game ever explained what she's doing. Maybe she's doing some kind of exercise. It's so funny. 
Also, so far, I still don't know what do we get by increasing relationship with people. So far, I just find out sometimes they would randomly give me some present, but other than that, I wasn't, I still wasn't able to get into anybody's house, which is, which is kind of sad. I really want to see their interior. How about let's find out who is my best buddy, my best buddy so far? Tennis. Okay. Maybe next time I will try to go to Tennis house and see if with four star could we already enter the house. I really want to see the interior of it. Wow, look at that! That's our processor shed. That looks so cool. So now I'm gonna pick up all my items and just put it there. But I don't know. I don't know what kind of extra benefit it brings other than just having a having a a place to gather all our processors. And honestly, I don't use my seat maker much at all. Unfortunately, I just feel like um, with other processors are, are very very useful. But for the seat maker, hmm, I barely use it. I wonder when do you guys usually use it, and uh, how is it better than just making a just making seats by hand yourself? Is it the only benefit? Is that you can bulk bulk making them? I'm not sure. Also, I just found out these two things actually looks exactly the same. That's gonna be hard to tell, isn't it? Um, oh no, we can't put it here. So maybe I'll put it right by this side. Oh, that's pretty nice. And then maybe I'll put my cheese and the mayonnaise maker and our butter charm. Oh my god, we looks like this looks so cool. But I think I'm gonna forget what are these two for, so I'm gonna put them a little bit not side by side, so I can tell who are they. So this one will be put right next to my saw, my wood maker thingy, and then maybe let's put the smelter here. Oh, nope, it's too big. Ah, oh, where, where where can we put our smelter? I think the, this processor shed might be too small for all our stuff, isn't it? I think it can be put in right next to... <laughs> I think I see half of my horse head there. And then also we can put a little seed maker here. And then maybe our anvil here. And then our fertilizer just right next to you. Here, Jiang Jiang. Oh my god, we were able to put everything here. That looks amazing, I love it. Wow, our, our area is so much cleaner now. But I think I still need to put uh, some of the stuff in it. For example, the, the wood storage place. Oh my god, I'm really going to clean up, clean up my yard. And then I definitely want to pick up my little toys here. And then, oh, let's see, pick up this one. Pick up this one, which is for my... Yeah, I usually like to pick up things, uh, put the storage of things right next to each other. So I think this is good. I want to keep the kitchen stuff outside. And there we go. I think I want to buy a little... A little lamp inside, otherwise it would be really hard to see at night, I guess. And then I want to put a little things on top of it so I could tell which one is which. And I think we can also put little toys on top of my processing. Oh, I love this, uh, this little horse toy. What else? We have another storage place for the wood. So I want to put it right next to the saw. And there we go, our little fully polished processor shed. I think I still want to maybe buy a little paintings to put on top and we'll be good. Oh, I think I accidentally took a fridge. Oh, oh no. Well, I want my fridge to be there. Yeah, that looks good. And then, oh, I have a messy bed. You know what? Why not? Maybe sometimes we want to sleep in the processor shed. And there we go, we have a bed in the processor shed. Oh, just kidding, I think I'm gonna pick it up and sell it. But that's super nice, I love it. This makes our yard so much cleaner, look at it. Oh my god, what is this? I've just found out the junk scorps. They were already trying to build a factory around here, which is right next to our museum. Oh gosh, I thought by donating to the... 
items to the museum, I should be able to stop them. But I didn't realize they already started building factory here. That's so scary. I wonder would it be harder for me to get some of the items from the natural because they started building factories here. Hopefully, I should be able to completely stop them by by the end of this year. Oh no, I'm so worried for it. But I am. It's pretty interesting that the, the main storyline is progressing because uh, it does make me feel like I'm trying to save this beautiful island from those bad corporates. Well, I was on my way to do the winter fish, but I discovered a new fast travel location. That is so cool. I think this is the swamp. Um, I can't believe I still haven't visited here after playing the game for so long. And I wonder what's inside the swamp or is there any special items we can get from it? Uh, let me try. What are these things? What did I just get? Parsley? <laughs> I don't think I've uh, picked up this item before. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then... Wow, I didn't know there's some special special items that we can pick around the, around the swamp. This swamp area looks so amazing. Let me actually explore it. I wonder if there's a witch or something special that lives inside the swamp. Oh no, oh no, I think I actually I accidentally dropped down to the swamp with my horse. <gasps> no, what's happening? Look, come on. Oh, shoot. I was so worried that we might just be trapped inside the swamp. I saw the new bug fix makes the animal cannot go to the sw uh, water. But I guess swamp isn't water, so... I think I should come here during the during the day so we can actually see the beautiful part of the swamp. Is there any special thing inside here? Oh gosh, I found a house inside here. That's so cool. Whose house is it? I wonder. I didn't know there's a special house inside the swamp. This is so cool. I wish I could see it more clearly. We will definitely come back during during the day so I can show you guys this this magical looking house inside the swamp. Wow, I was just going to the Wawu beach and I found out this girl. She's she just so so interesting. And then they were just having a a gathering by the by the grave. That's so crazy. Oh, and uh, <laughs> now they're just taking a look at my horse. That's so funny. Oh, it's pretty cool. I, I still haven't met all the characters from Pumpkinwell. Oh, no, not from Pumpkinwell, from the Wawu Beach, but they're definitely interesting. <laughs> I wonder what they were doing in the in the graveyard. Are they having some kind of uh, evil gathering? Well, let's not forget my main reason to come to the Wawu Beach is because I want to try deep ocean fishing for winter because there's still so many fishes that I need to collect for winter. And then, oh, the needlefish. I think that's the first time I caught a needlefish. That looks so cool. And hopefully I can catch some impossible fish to, that, to catch during winter and show you guys. Wow, winter is definitely a great time to, for fishing. I want to show you guys all the fish I got while sleeping. Oh, the needle fish actually just look like a needle. It's so small. This festive one just look like a gift. That's so funny. What about the sweet shrimp? And then the sea butterfly. Oh, it also look like a gift. I don't understand. I thought it's going to be looking like a sea butterfly. Oh, look at that. And I think the killifish looks pretty cool. And we also got an old swim trunk. Oh, it seems like if there's not picture, then it's gonna sh just look like a look like a gift. Okay, but we got some really special gifts, um, really special fishes. And I still have so many deep ocean fish that can only be caught for winter that I haven't caught. So we'll definitely do it again. There's, I love winter fishing. Since there's not much to do um, for farming, winter fishing is definitely the, the fun activity that I would recommend. Well, with our cool processor shard, I think that's it for our today's pumpkin episode. I had so much fun doing winter fishing and I will definitely go again to try to catch some impossible to catch fish with my awesome medial fishing rod. Well, thank you so, so much for watching. If there's anything that you think I haven't explored that you want to let me know, please, please leave, leave it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.